The ice castles in Cripple Creek have been a big hit with families this winter, but winter days in Colorado are not always cold. So why don't the ice castles melt? News 5 meteorologist Casey Dorn has the answer. Clay Davis, who manages the ice castles in Cripple Creek, told us keeping these ice sculptures glistening is more about the sun and moisture than the temperature. 50 degrees on a cloudy day is one thing. 50 degrees here in Cripple Creek with full sun, that's uh, an interesting day. Davis showed us how they keep the castles looking cool. And after we open to the public, it's always adding more, adapting, um, maintaining. Um, every day we're maintaining this thing. Um, we have machines to take care of the floors when we run water. Um, the floor turns into a nice sheet of ice. So we have to groom the floors, turn it into that nice crushed ice for people to walk on. Um, like I said, we do that daily, um, knocking down icicles that are too low. And as for the castles themselves, Davis says they're somewhat self-sustaining due to their size. They're um, pretty resilient, actually. Um, once we get to a certain level or height um, and size with these structures, they actually just maintain themselves for um, the thermal mass of them. Meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5. The Ice Castles will be open through March 2nd. Tickets are available at icecastles.com. They recommend you check the site before you go because hours of operation can vary. We'll